And this is video nine of the 2021 virtual cut glass convention that would have been held in New Orleans. If there's anything you would like to purchase, have a question, or would like individual photos, email me at franzwig at cox.net, C-O-X dot net. Feel free to pass these videos along to anyone you think might be interested. And again, I also buy uh, rare pieces and whole collections. And I'm Franz Helwig. We start off with this wonderful Vaseline solid green uh, cut glass wine stem in a prism pattern by Jay Hoare. The bases are sterling. I think I have three of these left. Uh, rare color and very unusual to have the sterling base. They are $3.45 each. It's a pretty scarce uh, cream and sugar set. The covered sugars are very difficult to find. They're really nice as a hob star cut around the top, star cut on the knob. They are footed as well. Um, nice heavy blanks, good quality. Five and six and a half inches tall. And the set is a real bargain at $2.95. These, these get very expensive as a rule. It's a very nice finger bowl, cut and clear button. Russian pattern that's early, probably Strauss. I'm going to say it's 1890 ish, 93, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and that one is only $45. It's a really rare shape in the always desirable Alhambra pattern, bread tray. I picked this up in a collection in, I'm trying to remember where that one came from, I think Manhattan. Uh, the bread tray is probably the rarest form that they made. It's the only one that has the extra set of hop stars on the ends. Great castle rim, the teeth are in excellent shape, and it is $27.95. It's a neat piece by Tuthill. It's signed. It's the primrose pattern footed vase. Very silky, excellent quality blank. Nice copper wheel engraving. Um, engraved foot as well and even the round knob is engraved it's 12 inches tall and four and a half inches in diameter and it is 595. this is a beautiful set of decanters early russian pattern with starred buttons blanks are extra heavy extra nice they're clear they have uh, starred buttons fluting and notching on the necks the handles are fluted on the sides, triple diamond cut handles. The handle's inc incredibly thick, so that's also indicative of an earlier piece. They're 12 inches tall, 5 and 3 quarter inches diameter, and the set is $24.95. That's a great pair, and it would probably be fairly easy to find stems or other um, glasses to go with them. Desirable form and cut glass are the fishtail ice cream trays. Don't see these very often. I've had some beauties in the past. This is a pattern that's uh, called Fauntleroy, and it's by Higgins and Cider. It's a very brilliant piece, sharp cutting. The end hop stars, I think, are 32 points. They're really incredible to look at, and they're very deeply cut. And the tray is a nice buy at $11.50. It's a very unusual vase. It's a Greek key and geometric. I'm unsure of the maker. It's, the two-handle vases are very rare to find. They didn't make many of them, and the handles often got damaged or cracked. These handles are perfectly annealed. They're super thick. They're over an inch thick. Double punty cuts. Step cut, scallop top. Again, the Greek key. Uh, beautiful geometrics. The geometric portion of it is uh, similar to Eggington, but uh, I don't know that this is a pattern that they did. And as you can see on the side, it's very deeply cut. Uh, this is a big one, too. It's at least 12 inches, maybe even 14. You don't see them that size. They're usually like 10. Uh, $22.50 is a nice buy on that. Big star cut bowl by Meriden. Uh, incredible hop stars, tons of clear glass on the top, uh, 
big heavy piece. Uh, pattern is shown on page 104, Pearson volume 3. The hop stars are 32 points. Really nice. And that's another nice bargain at only $3.95. Here's a rare form in a very desirable, well known pattern. Hunt's Royal. Um, kind of the epitome of cut glass if you want to show somebody what brilliant period cutting was like. Great blank, deep, deep, wide miters, Russian cutting in the bottom. Uh, the three feet are in excellent condition. The bases are cross hatched. Uh, it's a scarce form. It is eight inches in diameter, and I don't think that I've ever seen another one of these. Four ninety five. It's a cute little in copper wheel engraved. Um, let me see that. It may be acid etched. Come to think of it, but it's an amber color, vintage grapes pattern. Clear, solid stem and foot, and that's a nice little buy at only $35. Add a nice little dash of color to your collection. Here's a tricolor wine by Strauss in their octagon diamond pattern. Beautiful color combination, cranberry cut to yellow, clear St. Louis diamond cut stem, and st star cut foot. And this is the last one of these, I believe. It's $16.50. It's another hard to find pattern. Uh, it is uh, Anderson's Radiant Star. I haven't had another piece of this in a long, long time. Uh, nine inches in diameter, three and three quarter inches tall. It's $14.95. You can see a lot of precision cutting done in this pattern. I think Pearson shows it in one of the encyclopedia books, but that's a really fine example at $14.95. See where we are on time. Okay, we're good. Um, here's another pattern you don't see very often. It's Princess by Hawks. They have the trilogy of kings, queens, queens, and princess. And uh, princess doesn't turn up very often. Deep cut, heavy blank, really heavy. And it is nine inches in diameter. It's signed. It's four and a half inches tall. And that's a nice buy at only three seventy-five. This is a good example of J. Hoare, kind of their peak as far as cutting. This is the Newport pattern. It's a very ornate, complex design, but very well conceived. It has a sterling rim by Gorham. Uh, that's a nice addition. Uh, great blank as usual. It's probably a Corning Glass Works blank. And the bowl is $4.95. And I forgot I had one of these water goblets left. It's the buckle pattern that's shown um, in American Cut Glass Industry book by Jane Spillman. It's shown on page 182. Uh, buckle is very scarce. There's a nice little write-up about it. Um, hourglass, fluted stem, Brooklyn star base, and the water goblet is 675. And behind there is a signed Hawks tumbler. It's a tall tumbler, very unusual height. You don't see these, but it's signed. It's probably one of their numbered patterns, big elongated hob stars. It's five inches tall and three and a quarter inch diameter. And that's a steel at only 85. That's the only one I have. And here's a single tumbler, hefty in hand, three and seven eighths tall, uh, nicely cut. It is only $35, and that will.